hello guys welcome to this tutorial series on spring mbc so my last video was about the spring validations that spring provide for a uh, server level valid validations where, where i have explained the size validations so if you have not seen that video please check that also or you can directly subscribe my channel just click on the subscribe button so you will get notification once I upload a new video so let's get started in this video I am covering pattern annotation which is very powerful annotation that Spring provide using this annotation we can actually validate the wildcard expression of any field that we have okay so let's say we have password field here so let's say we want this field such that this field will have only character and integer and the size of the field must be 5 and net not more than that so we can use wildcard expressions for that so for that we need to use pattern annotation first so let's import this and here we need to use regex expression and here we need to give the expression Okay, so need to use the bracket. So let's keep character A to Z and uppercase A to Z and digits. And we have to give the size here. So this field will contain only five characters or digits. So let's give a message to user. So this message we can give here like the password can contain only characters and digits and size must be 4 oh, must be 5 ok okay so we are good to go now uh, we can now test it on server so let's start the server and right click run it run on server click finish okay okay the server is started so let's test our URL that is register okay Okay, so we can enter some field into our password field to verify it. Okay, to show the characters, let's modify the password field. So here we can change it to input. Okay, so let's refresh this. okay so now we will, we will be able to see the characters so okay so I'm putting only three characters here so let's give some values to username okay so as you see it is saying the password can contain only character and digits and size because the size here is only three so we need to give five as the size so now the password error is gone okay so it is saying error for username size not less than 2 okay fine so it is working so if we give digits also let's give 5 digits yeah it is working so if we enter some let's say some special characters so it is not working for special characters yep it's not working for special characters so if we put only values more than 5 so it will again show the error yeah it is working perfectly so using pattern annotation we can verify our password field or any or any other field for 
the characters and digits and special characters we can put into the regular expression and then we can send the message to user from the controller so that's about the pattern annotation in my next video I will cover other Spring MVC validations that Spring MVC provides so see you next video bye bye